Hello, the topic that we are going to talk about today is Needham-Schroeder Protocol. Needham-Schroeder Protocol, refer to one of two key transport protocols. Needham-Schroeder Protocol can be differentiated to Symmetric Key Protocol and Public Key Protocol. Symmetric Key Protocol is based on symmetric algorithm encryption. Its aim is to establish session key to provide confidentiality for communication. Public Key Protocol is based on public key cryptography. Its aim is to provide mutual authentication for communication. Our scenario is where Alice and Bob share a secret key with Key Distribution Center respectively. The Key Distribution Center generates session key and distribute the session keys to Alice and Bob. Firstly, Alice sends a message to Key Distribution Center to identify herself and Bob. The message contains identification for Alice and Bob and Alice's nonce. At this moment, secret keys are shared between Alice and the Key Distribution Center, and Bob and the Key Distribution Center. Then, the Key Distribution Center generates session key, and send two encrypted session key copies to Alice, alongside with Alice's nonce to assure the message is replying to that particular message. One copy is encrypted using secret key of Alice while the other is encrypted using Bob's secret key. Alice send the encrypted session key to Bob where Bob can decrypt it using Bob's secret key. Bob recover session key and send back nonce encrypted using session key. Alice replies to Bob confirming session key and send back fresh message. If an opponent is able to capture the message in step 3 and replay it, this might in some fashion disrupt operations of Bob. For example, suppose an opponent X has been able to compromise an old session key. The opponent is able to observe what is happening at step 3 and recorded it. X can impersonate Alice and trick Bob into using the old key by simply replaying step 3. If X can intercept the handshake message in step 4, then it can impersonate Alice's response in step 5. From this point on, X can send bogus messages to Bob, that appear to Bob to come from Alice using an authenticated session key. To overcome this weakness, the Needham-Schroeder protocol is modified, to include the addition of a timestamp to steps 2 and 3. T is a timestamp that assures Alice and Bob that the session key has only just been generated. Thus, both Alice and Bob know that the key distribution is a fresh exchange. The timestamp T is encrypted using the secure master keys. If X even with knowledge of an old session key cannot succeed because a replay of step 3 will be detected by B as untimely. Next, we will talk about improved protocol to suppress replay attacks and solve the problems in the Nidum Schroeder protocol. Alice initiates the authentication exchange by generating a nonce and sending that plus its identifier to Bob in plain text. Bob alerts the key distribution center that a session key is needed. Its message to the key distribution center includes its identifier and Bob's nonce. The message also includes a block encrypted with the secret key, shared by Bob and the key distribution center. The block contains the identifier for Alice, Alice's nonce and expiration time. The key distribution center passes on to Alice Bob's nonce and a block encrypted with the secret key that Bob shares with the key distribution center. The block serves as a ticket that can be used by Alice for subsequent authentications. The key distribution center also sends to Alice a block encrypted with the secret key shared by Alice and the key distribution center. It provides Alice with a session key and the time limit. This block verifies that Bob has received Alice's initial message and that this is a timely message and not a replay. Alice transmits the ticket to Bob together with the Bob's nonce. The latter encrypted with a session key. The ticket provides Bob with the secret key that is used to decrypt and recover the nonce. Suppose that Alice and Bob establish a session using the improved protocol. 
and then conclude that session. Subsequently, but within the time limit established by the protocol, Alice desires a new session with Bob, which the following protocol ensues. When Bob receives the message in Step 1, it verifies that the ticket has not expired. The newly generated nonces NA and N, B assure each party that there is no replay attack. The end. Thank you for listening. Hope you enjoy the video and learn more about the Needham-Schroeder protocol.